Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 21 of FC Destiny with Barrowtown here in FC 24. This is the beginning of season 4 now. If you missed any of season 3, go check it out. Really good season as we won our first trophy and finished 11th in League 1. But we've got an exciting start to the new season planned here though. In this episode, we're going to show off our new away and third kits. We're going to introduce not one, but two new players to Barrow Town here, which is a bit of a surprise. As I said, I'd only do one transfer a season in this career mode. We're going to take a look around the squad, see what players are going to get upgrades, what players are going to be sold, and who's going to be returning from loan. And then there's just a lot to go over before we go kick off season four. But you guys are going to love what we have in store for what I'm hoping is a push for the League One title this season, baby. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family, like the video so I know how much you're enjoying this content, and comment down below, start some conversations with me, and have some fun here. Come on, lads. So the first thing we're going to do here is show off the new away kits. Here's Cosmo Wix showing them off. We're going to spin them around. We're going with a bit of a white and a gray theme here with the red accent color. I think Cosmo looks great in them. I think we're gonna look great in them. And then we have our fan favorite here, Quack Gun, showing off the electric third kits, which we're gonna be pink and black this season. We're sponsored by Beats, it seems like. I don't know. I just wanted to use a different looking kit this season, and I, I think these are absolutely fire in my opinion i'm really excited to see these in action let me know what you guys think in the comments and before we announce our shiny new signings let's announce our player of the season from season three if i didn't leave player of the season up to you guys i would have picked masamba Enjai as my player of the season so it's good to see that you guys definitely agree with me he was absolutely unreal and probably the reason we were able to avoid the bottom half of the table last season he was insane in the carabao cup helping us get all the way to the round of 16 against West Ham, where he was also amazing. So Masamba Enjai is your player of the season from season three. What a signing he's been ever since we got him from Claremont Foot. All right, so how about we read some of your comments? Give it 20 more episodes, this will be a five-star team. That's a very specific number and I like it. In 20 more episodes, come back and check with me and see where we're at. Quack Gun, the love of my life. Honestly, same. The Devo Karigi of Barrow Town, I will stand by my words. Quack Gun will be better than Zivergadens, the boy to lead the future of Asian football. Those are strong words, my friend, but I love it. I love a hot take here in this channel, in this series. I think you should try and scout Monaco. Honestly, I would, but I can't. But shout out to my FIFA 23 series I did with Monaco. If you haven't checked it out already, that was actually a really fun one. Also, keep up the vids. I love the season. Probably my favorite season ever. Definitely my favorite season with Barrow Town. Last season was an absolute banger. We won the cup and we played a lot of really fun matches. Scored some crazy good goals. And speaking of which, your goal of the season, you guys voted. It was obviously that first goal we scored last season, which was Ovi Ajaria's first goal for the club. And it was just, I have no words to describe it. It was so good. Check it out here. Come on, Barrow Town. Nisbet whips in the corner. Little too far. Ovi Ajaria is going to pick it up here off the corner. Ovi Ajaria, are you kidding me? That is the goal of the career mode so far. How the hell did he hit it from there so perfectly? I, I'm speechless. You guys know I love to talk, but that goal absolutely left me speechless. It was so good. But let's keep moving here and go make some big signings here. I've got a surprise for you guys. Now you guys already know about Fran Tudor. We're gonna bring him in, sign him. But then there's this man. Hi, I'm Fabio. Who's Fabio? Fabio Giarodia from Bayer Leverkusen. He's got 83 potential. He's a left-footed Italian center back who was born in Germany, came up in the Werder Bremen system, and now plays for Leverkusen. He signed a big deal with them. He's a big talent, guys. And the way we're going to bring him in is on loan. I said it in this series. I've changed the rule a bunch of times, honestly, because I want to make it harder on ourselves and I want to make it more worth it when we sign players. So we're only allowed to sign one player a season in this career mode, but a loop poll to that rule is I can loan in players and of course I can buy Chirodia next season if the loan goes really well so I think we're gonna try to do a loan to buy option but for one season if we can bring in an elite 
young, high potential defender like Fabio, and it can work out? Watch out, League One. And you may be wondering, why would you bring in Chiarodia if you have John Leofeco? He's been great for us. He was great last season after he signed, but Angus Lamb is leaving, and we're bringing in Mike Sester, who's old, and it was kind of a last-minute signing. I didn't really do the best job with my scouting there, even though I still think he's fine. But basically, what I've learned about teams competing for league titles is you need to have at least three good center backs that can rotate. And Chiarodia would be our highest-rated center back just ahead of Odell Tingling, he'd start over Yafeko, but John Lee would still rotate in for sure. Honestly, Odell and John Lee can't play every single match as our one and two center back. You need to have depth, and that's what Fabio's gonna give us, but he's gonna give us depth in an exciting way, a prospect for the future, highly regarded across Europe. Very excited about this one, let's bring these two lads in. And for 1.8 million euros, we have signed friend Tudor, who plays all over the right side. He's gonna be a right back for us. Here we go, Tudor to Barrow Town. Come on, lads. And I've already gone ahead and changed his position to right back outright. That's where he's gonna start for us. And man, he looks so good, guys. So Leverkusen have agreed to a deal to loan out Fabio to us for one year. However, we were not able to make it a loan to buy offer. I don't think we had enough future funds or whatever for that deal to happen. So we would have to agree to a deal during during the season with them probably in order to make a deal for next season if we do want to keep him past this one year of loaning in. But I am excited about Fabio, guys. And for the career mode lovers out there, he's got a real face in game. This is a very exciting transfer, even if it's not permanent. I think this is going to get us to the championship, no doubt. So you see it there, Chiarodia loaned in. You also see some scouting reports, which we're going to read in a second. But like I said before, Mike Sester is coming in. He wasn't my best signing, but he's going to be a fine rotation player, squad player. And Angus Lamb has departed the club. But speaking of academy players, we're going to bring up a bunch of these guys. Everyone who's 16 or older to start this season, they're all going to get loaned out. So Ibrahim, man, Abdullahi Kohli, the Filipino, Manny Rosales, Dries Hassan still 15, so Roy Hong is going to come up. Buyar Hick is going to come up, and we're going to change him to striker straight away. And Marco Franco, the attacking midfielder from San Marino, is going to get the call up as well. So now let's go see if we can bring in any new players from the reports we've been doing over the summer. So there is one player that caught my eye, honestly, through the three countries that I scouted, and it happens to be from Nepal. You see a glaring error here with the name pool in Nepal. Definitely not a good thing that all the last names are Gupta. So I'm going to head on to the internet and randomize a name for a Nepali player. Player myself. So now this is Finjo Banjara, a mispositioned player, which I love to see. So we're going to sign him up and definitely train him to be the right position here. So Finjo's listed as a central midfielder, but you see the pace, the dribbling, the shooting. He's definitely a winger. So we're going to train him to be a right winger. And you look at his stats overall, the technical stats are pretty solid overall. He's a good dribbler, has a pretty decent free kick. But look at the agility stat here. I saw it. I was like, that's the highest physical stat. That's the highest attribute I've seen given to a youth academy player so far in FC 24. 85 agility. Love it, Finjo. So now for the next three months, we're setting out our scouts to Nigeria, Bolivia, and Trinidad and Tobago. We will check on those in three months. Alrighty, so the last thing we're going to do this episode is go through the entire squad, which we have a ton of guys in this squad now, which is a big part in thanks to the Youth Academy this year in this series. But we're going to be selling a lot of guys. We're going to be sending more guys back out on loan. But let's go through this squad and see what the overalls and potentials of these players are going to be heading into season four. So we'll start with Mark Gillespie here. He's 34 years old, backup goalkeeper, and he's 67 overall now. That's a bump one from last year. Masamba Njai is 24 years old now. He's 72 overall and a 79 potential. That's a plus three to his potential. Adam Kutzashvili's out on loan. Duophone's going to go back out on loan. He just got back and is overall glitched up to a 64, which you love to see. He still has 78 potential. Ashin Driscoll. 62 overall, 63 potential at 24 years old. He's going to get sold. We just have too many goalkeepers for him to want to stay at this point. Ibrahim Mann just called him up. He's going to get sent out on loan. 87 potential for our 6'6 six six New Zealand keeper. Giovanni Betts, the American, now a 65 overall, plus one from last season. 72 potential. That's a plus three from last season. Abdullahi Kohli, he's a newcomer from the academy. He's going to be going out on loan as well. Francis Paul's a 64 overall. 
he's going to stay there. His potential was a 74 after last season. I don't know why, but we're going to put it back up to 78. Mike Sester, newcomer. He was a pre-contract agreement, and he doesn't look all that great, but he's going to be decent rotation if we need it in the cups, maybe. Fabio, 71 overall, 83 potential. Very excited about this loan. I think we're going to take good advantage of it. And we're also going to stick the sweeper development plan on him so he can work on that defensive work rate. John Leofeco had an awesome season last year. He's going to go up one overall to 68. His potential is now a 78 after dynamic potential. Parker Ravenswood never really found his footing in this club, to be honest. He's going to get sold this season. Demba Ba just got back from loan. He's also going to get sold this season. Manny Rosales, the Filipino center back, is going to be a newcomer for us this season, but we're going to send him out on loan. He's high overall, so I don't really want to not give him playing time based on our center back depth. I'd rather let him go get playing time somewhere else and then come back when he's better than a guy like Victor Lundberg, who's a 63 overall with 74 potential now. Odell Tingling keeping that afro for this season. 70 overall, 82 potential, staying right there, and he definitely deserves both. Balin Gupta from Bhutan, 59 overall. He's out on loan. Rory McDonald's a newcomer from the academy. He's a 59 overall, and he's actually going to stick around. I think his overall is going to be good enough where he's not going to expect a ton of playing time, so that'll be good for our rotation. Fran Tudor, the newcomer, 72 overall. Right now, 70 two potential. Very excited to see what we can get from him. I think that pace is going to be so dynamic enough that League One's not going to know what hit him at certain points. Thar Guinness now is demoted to a right back back up to Fran Tudor and honestly he's going to be totally okay with it. I feel like he's a team player and he's going to be a really awesome backup to be honest. You can't go a whole season without good depth. He's got 66 overall as you see, 71 potential. Roy Hong from Singapore is going to be going out on loan. He's a newcomer from the academy. Saeed Saeed was a 6 60 overall with 69 potential. We jacked up his potential to a 73 just a little bit. I feel like he definitely deserves that from what I've seen. And he's not going to play a whole lot this season, so he might head out on loan too. Luke Vanderval just got back from his loan, but I think Moyomushi deserved a spot after last season's play, so we're going to send Vanderval back out on loan. He's only 17 years old, so maybe in a season or two, we're going to be seeing a lot more from Luke. He still has 82 potential. Danny Kramer from Suriname, still out on loan. Prey Fredrickson from Greenland, also still out on loan. And the aforementioned Moyomushi, our Tanzanian defensive midfielder, had a really good season last year, in my opinion. So he's going to get a plus one to his overall, and his potential now sits at 60 68 at 22 years old. Gene Do Fuchs, 70 overall, 70 potential. Our captain, Australian Josh Nisbet, 5 foot 2 in all of them. He's going to stay at 73 overall. That's the highest at the club. 80 potential, which he's probably not going to reach that at 27 years old, but that's what FC decides to give him again. Ovi Ajaria, 70 overall, 71 potential. Marco Franco, attacking midfielder, newcomer from the academy. He's a 59 overall, but we're going to send him out on loan too. Diogo Melo's got a big upgrade from last season, plus three overall to 61. I feel like that's still very deserved, considering he's still one of the lower players overall at the club, and he still got a ton of playing time last year, and I thought he played great whenever he did. He's also now got 78 potential. Lucas Novak, 60 overall, and he's going to be sold after coming back from loan. Brady Gibbons, 24 years old now, and I did give him a little bit of a bump down to a 65 overall. He got a loan glitch overall rating all the way up to a 66, so... We're actually going to keep him in this season after he comes back from loan. He's going to be a 65 overall, and he's going to compete with ZZ Rahman for that right wing spot, in my opinion. We're going to give him a second stint here at Barrowtown, and I want to see how this second one goes. I'm actually pretty optimistic after seeing he had a pretty decent loan out at Cardiff. And Cristobal Aria, speaking of good loans, his loan glitch got him up to a 64 overall, 18 years old. But we're going to send him right back out on loan. We have too many wingers for him to get any playing time this season. Speaking of wingers, Thoko Shabalala from South Africa. Really liked what I saw from him last season. He's a 64 overall with 82 potential right now. Cosmo Wicks, one of our best players overall in the attack. He's a 68 overall, plus one to his overall from last season. 71 potential for now for the 26-year-old winger. Marcus Bailey's an interesting one. He's a 64 overall now. He just got back from his loan, and I'm going to ask you guys in the comments, should we loan him back out 
or should we have him compete with maybe Diogo Mello for an attacking mid position? I don't know if he's going to play right wing a lot for us, but let me know what you want to do with Marcus Bailey. As for Fabuni Africa, unfortunately, we're going to sell him. We have too many wingers. He's a 62 overall at 21 years old, still has a good amount of value to sell, so he's going to be on his way out this window. Azizi Rahman, the Egyptian Prince. He got injured at the beginning of last season, but still bounced back in my opinion, so I think FC knocked down his potential from an 87 to an 82 for whatever reason, but I put it back up to an 86, gave him a plus one overall to 65, he's going to be competing directly with Brady Gibbons for that right wing spot. Adrian Ali still out on loan. Booyar Hicka, I changed him to a striker like we said we would. And look at that overall, up to a 60. He's 17 years old, but we have a lot of strikers, so we're going to send him out on loan as well. Yusu Manga's been out on loan, and he's been killing it out on loan. Uh, all of our guys seem to have been. Another loan glitch, up to a 65 overall now for Yusu. Quack Guns up to a 64, that's a plus one overall for him. Plus two to his potential, up to a 73 now as well. Jeremy Bishop still out on loan. He's a 62 overall. Nikolai Zivergadens. Look at him, guys. He's got himself a mask now, looking like Victor Oshiman, looking like a badass out there. He's a 69 overall with 88 potential. Last year's leading goal scorer at the club, and we hope to do it again. I have big expectations for Nikolai this season for sure. Ted Cook, keep it simple here. Finish this one off. We're going to sell him. And if you haven't already, go check out the Barrowtown Google Sheet. Really fun in here. You see, we have an overview with the standings where we finish in cups, current date in the save, some information. We've got transfers in here, who we sell, who we buy. The player records are in here. This is the most important thing that's not in FC, that's never been in FIFA, which I think is ridiculous. These are the records from the first three seasons and how players fare in in the rankings in Barrowtown's history so far. How about Josh Nisbet with 156 appearances in three seasons? That's just outlandish. I put a trophy case in here. You see we won the EFL trophy. It's gonna get updated as we win more of those, hopefully. And the roster is fairly updated. Player of the episode upgrades are also gonna be in here as much as I can. So go check out the Google Street. It's in the description. It always is. But that's gonna do it here for this episode of FC Destiny with Barrowtown. You see, we haven't played a game yet this season, and we're not going to in this episode. I had a lot that I wanted to cover with you guys. Go through the team, go through the Youth Academy, and really get this season set up in many ways. We brought in a surprise transfer alone in of a very highly touted prospect from a big club in the Bundesliga, and we brought in another transfer that I think is going to be dynamic as hell, and so is this squad. We have the squad to win the league this year. I don't think there's any doubt about that in my opinion. So with that said, come back next episode. We're going to play four matches with this club to kick off an amazing season. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family and hit that like button so I know you're liking the videos for sure. Even if you're not, just make sure you show the love down in the comments as well. I've given you a lot to think about with some new kits, new players and such. But until that next episode where we kick things off for real and start playing matches, this has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.